All right, uh, folks. This is an e prom. All right. Uh, there's a window on it, meaning to say that uh, you have to e you can only erase uh, the content inside through ultraviolet light. So it's not electrically erasable e -prom. So to erase the e prompt, you have this gadget over here. Inside, you can look over here, and you see a blue thing, right? It's actually an ultraviolet uh, lamp in there. So if you want to erase this thing, just pull it out, pull it in there, close it, set it to about 20 minutes. All right, about 20 minutes, then press the on button. It's a white button. So see the blue light on, all right? So in about 20 minutes, uh, you'll be erased. So to program, uh, you need a blank e from over here. At this station, or the other station, we have two stations over here, one here and one over there, both are the same. All right, you have one of these universal e from programmer attached to it. So what you need to do is on it, and then you run this program over here, lab 248X. So if you run it, you should see this thing. All right, so the first thing you need to do is to put your EEPROM into this zero insertion force problem. All right, put it in there. Align it all the way to the bottom. All right, you can see. It's aligned to the bottom, not to the top. So this can program chips up to 40 pin. So yours is a 28 pin chip. All right. In there, lock it. All right, you can't push out anymore. Now, so the hardware is done. What you need to do is come to the this part. The first thing that you need to do is to make sure you select the correct part. You can read the parts over here, all right, and select the part. Otherwise, you can try the auto ID and see whether this fellow can correctly identify the part. So do an auto ID. It will say that it's either a Fairchild MC24C64 or NS, whatever it is. All right, so Fairchild and NS produce the same part over here. If you check and it's totally different, well, maybe it's a bring another part. Otherwise, if that's correct, say OK. So you got the part selected. The next thing that you need to do is to load the hex file, all right, the hex file onto the system here. So there's this thing over here called load. Click on it. Now, once you click on it, this manual appears. What you need to do is go to D drive. Right, D drive. There is a directory called EE3208, which you can see over here. Now, unless somebody has played punk with this thing, all right, that program called boot, that file called boot86.hex should be the correct file. So please don't replace this one with another boot86.hex. Alright, select that, open it. Now, once you open, you'll find a manual sitting over here. And there's a couple of things that you need to fill in. It says that it's an Intel hex format, so it correctly identifies the file to be, to be of Intel hex format, so that's good. Now, over, over here, there's two things. One is called from file address, and one is buffer address. Now, what does these two things mean? If you look at this EEPROM, now that I've taken it out of your microprocessor system, all right, it's an 8K EEPROM starting from what address? I mean, it's just an 8K standalone EEPROM. So what is the address of the first location? Zero. Zero. All right, so the address of the first location is zero. Now, as far as this system is concerned, it's just a programmer, correct? You have loaded a file into its buffer. It doesn't know what is the address in respect to the micro, micro key system that you have, right? As far as this value is concerned, to him, it's zero. So therefore, the buffer over here is zero, corresponding to a standalone EEPROM of zero. However, if you have put this EEPROM into or onto your microprocessor board, 
What would be the address, the logical address of this E plum, the first location? Where did you, I mean, uh, interface this E plum to? In, but you put this E plum in terms of the one MAC address of your microprocessor. Top, right? Right at the top. So right at the top is F F F F downwards by 8K. So what is that number? I will figure out. So it's F F F F minus 8K. Alright? Now you can if you have a calculator, go and calculate. I did once before and I think the number is F E 0 0 0. Alright? So the number is FE00. FE00 is 8K from FFFF. Alright? FE30. So that should be the number you put there. Are you, are, are you with me? So fine. Okay. Now, if you want to, to see whether you have loaded a correct file or not, you go to edit. Edit over here. Alright? And to so see whatever that is in the buffer. Now, very messy, right? It looks right, huh? If it doesn't look right, you can also go and compare with the hex file that you have. Alright, look at the hex file. It should be the same. Alright, so it looks right. So it looks right, that's fine to close it. So the next thing is to burn it. Now, there are here a few buttons. Pro brand. Now, if you click on blank, what it does is that it does a blank check. Check whether inside here is all blank. Blank means F tag, every location. Alright, so oh, I just did a blank check. It says blank check OK. So this is blank. Uh, for you, what you need to do is to press the program button. When you press the pro program button, it will do three things. It actually does a blank check. It does a program. And then it does a verify. Verify that it has programmed correctly. So if you do that, and then do that. So now you see it's programming. Program complete. Alright. So finish, you can take it out and plug it into your system. This will work. Unless somebody change that both in the same time. Alright? Okay, thank you.